So continuing on with fraction multiplication, we're now going to move on to multiplying mixed numbers by an integer or a whole number. We can pause here to have a look at our success criteria and keywords. So now we have 2 and 2 fifths multiplied by 3. Okay, if I want to write that out using a repeated addition method, excuse me, I'm going to write out 2 and 2 fifths three times, just as you see on the board, okay? Making sure we have our whole repeated and our unit fractions repeated. So all we need to do then is just add up the wholes and the fractions. So that's the same as we've got two wholes, four wholes, six wholes, so six wholes, and then we end up having six fifths. Now we can't actually have that as our mixed number. Why? We can't have an integer, a whole, and an improper fraction. It doesn't make sense because we've got too many wholes, okay? So this becomes kind of like six plus six fifths, right? It's the same. And six wholes plus, um, think about six divided by five. We want to make that into a mixed number. So it's going to be one whole and one fifth. And so now we can just add that seven and one fifth. There you go. Okay. So using that as your model, you can pause here to give the one on the bottom a try. I'm going to go ahead and write that out. So it's one and four eighths plus one and four eighths plus one and four eighths plus one and four eighths. And that's because I'm multiplying it by four. And again, all I need to do, add up the holes. So we have four holes and then we have 16 eighths. Okay. We know that <clears throat> 16 eighths is the same as two. So it's actually four plus two, which gives us a total of six. Okay, so that's the repeated addition method. Here we have a partition method. So what you do is you take your whole number and write its own multiplication sentence with what you're multiplying by. And then you take your unit fraction and write its own multiplication sentence. And you just add them at the end. So six holes here and then three quarters multiplied by three. We know that from yesterday that's nine over four. Okay, so essentially what that is is six and nine quarters which we can't have, we've just talked about that. So that's the same as six <clears throat> plus two and one quarter, because that's what nine quarters is as a mixed number. So it's eight and one quarter, okay? Let's try the one on the bottom here so we can partition that one. Just gonna move it up. So if we were to rewrite this, we'd have one multiplied by four, which is four for the holes. And then we have one fifth multiplied by four, which is four fifths. And we don't have an improper fraction to work with, so then we can just add these two together. So it's four and four fifths. There we go. Now here you can convert to an improper fraction if you so prefer. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite my question with the mixed number converted to an improper fraction. So again, if you don't remember, we multiply the denominator by the whole, and then we add our numerator. Okay, so four multiplied by two, add three, is 11 over four, multiplied by three, we know from yesterday's work that all we need to do is just multiply across the top. The denominator stays the same because it's the same as multiplying it by 1. So this actually becomes 33 over 4. And then we just need to divide it to create our mixed number. So how many times can we get 4 into 33? 8 times with 1 left over. 8 and 1 quarter. And if you're not sure if you've converted it properly, again, just convert it back. 4 multiplied by 8 is 32. Add 1 is 33. That's how you can check your work there. So you need to try to use two of the um, models that we showed on the board, repeated addition for number one, and then for two, three, and four, you need to convert to an improper fraction to work these ones out, only because that's one of the year five targets we're trying to make sure that we cover. And then you can use any method you like to work out the last. And there you've got your reasoning and your problem solving. Good luck.